Hi, a follow-up video to my previous one, uh, repairing, very simple repair, of a Tektronix DMM916 uh, multimeter. And as I showed in my box of mystery multimeters video from my bunker where I got these uh, from, I found another three meters here. Um, both of them are 916s, but also a more better, a more better looking DMM870. Not sure what the difference between these, I assume the 916 is a later model, but it's 40,000 count. It's um, the same spec, like 0.06%. Um, it's everything looks like I can't see any difference at all between these, actually. So I've got, I don't know, leave it in the comments down below. I mean, there's a slight difference in the silkscreen offset there, like it's just slightly, but like apart from that, features seem to be exactly the same. Uh -huh. Anyway, um, yeah, let's do a repairathon. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to repair them, but anyway, let's take them apart, see what's wrong with them, and uh, hopefully we can get at least one or two of them working. All right, so we'll start off with the good-looking one. Let's get this out of here. These are all um, sold as uh, faulty, by the way, so last calibrated uh, 2099. So, yeah, calibration void is seal broken. <laughs> Seems to have the same power-on functions as the 916. No idea if there's any battery in this. Um, it doesn't do anything. If it is, it's probably long dead. Yeah, there's a battery, all right. Whoops. Lost a, lost two screws. Where'd the other one go? Okay, is that battery any good? I'm gonna need a multimeter to test it. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I'm. G <laughs> well, there's your problem. Wow. That is just, that's completely come out. Look, so that, you can see, you can see the corrosion on that. Yeah, I think that's a bit of corrosion there, is it not? So, is it that easy? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, let's get a good battery. You've got the Duracell Industrials. They leak at twice the rate. <laughs> the regular Duracells. Industrial leakage action. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen an industrial one leak anyway. I just happened to have a... Oh, March 2023. Um, oops. Oops. <laughs> Had them for a while. <laughs> they, they do measure good though. So, that's... Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's on. Oh, don't tell me that was it. Seriously? <laughs> I'm going to put the case back on. Just so that we're... We're good. Seriously, that cannot be the fault. That can't be it. Oh, I hate this top clip up here. Sorry, you can't easily see this. I should set up like a second uh, camera. To, I, I did at one point, but yeah, you know. Um, um, uh, 13.4 volts, that's the compliance voltage. You got it in the wrong range. Uh, let's put on voltage range and I'm getting zippity doo dah. Are we going to have a problem with the input jacks like we had last time? No, helps if I press operate. It works. 0.9994 for my one volt input. Give that a wiggle, 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 yeah. It's solid, I might uh, sc screw those jacks up to be sure. Millivolts, let's go down a range. 100 millivolts, 99.96, no whackers. 10 volts, 10.998, that's close. One volt, yeah, that's, good. That's, that's within spec. It's a couple of counts low. But uh, millivolts, millivolts, 100, bang on. Ah, oh, goodness, so much for a repair video. Ah, oh, 10K, let's measure the ohm ski, 9.995. Yeah, it's exactly like the other one. I, ah, oh, it's whew, unbelievable. One milliamp, microamp range, 1,000. Yep, no worries, it's negative, all the electrons are going to fall out. 100 milliamps is bang on, 10 milliamps, bang on and put it over to the amps jack and uh, i'm gonna have to up that range this can only generate 100 milliamps and uh it's 100 milliamps i'll check that a bit more thoroughly but that is a winner winner chicken dinner seriously like i i'm sure i went through all, all of these at the time and because i had like like i don't know eight of these or something i had a lot and i went through and tested them all and the ones that worked i sold them at the time so I'll just uh, tighten the, they, they, they felt a little bit loose, but yeah, a little bit loose there. Just tighten those up just to pierce through any potential oxide coating build up on there. But yeah, the fuses are intact. They're all original. Um, the, the 870 model, 
That looks identical, doesn't it? That looks identical. Layout, PCB, it's got the um, solder mask removed, exactly like the 916. Um, the 870 is the top of the range of the 800 series, like the 916 is the top of the range of the 900 series. So, I don't know, it seems to be an identical meter. Maybe they sold them in different markets. Maybe there's some little feature difference there, but they're all true RMS. They're, I think the LCD is the same in them, isn't it? That one, I'll give it a a few more tests, but that one is going straight to my eBay. So I'll put that on my eBay store as well. So I'll link it in. I'll start it at 99 cents. The uh, I think there's like six hours left on the auction for the other one. That works. A treat. Um, okay. <laughs> I mean, I can test the AC and stuff, but I'm sure the AC works. Like, everything, everything works just fine. So, ah. Uh, Seriously? That battery terminal corroded off and that's it? I can't believe that's it. Because, like, Varda, I was using those at the time. That, you know, I got a whole bunch of them. I was got, like, a box of them. I was using those at the time that I was testing these. So this this isn't, like, the original one that came with it. Um, that would have... I'm sure I would have opened these. I'm sure I opened these all. And I, and I checked them. So, like... Maybe I missed this one for some reason, or maybe I didn't test it because it was maybe the only 870 model that I had or something. But as far as I know, it's the same as the 916, and it's a winner. Next. It's going to be embarrassing if they're all the same. Anyway, this is uh, Australian um, uh, Air Force as well. So um, ADF Cows, Australian Defence Force Calibration. I got a lot of stuff in the Australian Defence Force Calibration uh, Lab. April 10, so they're all like uh, 2010 vintage. So... It's great. What is... I thought that was like leakage or something, but that, that's not liquid. It's it's had some sticky substance on it. Somebody's like... I don't know. <laughs> Somebody in the Australian Defence Force has uh, uh, spilt their coffee on that. There's no smell to it. Mm. Anyway, um, yeah, nothing. So let's open her up. I swear if all these work, I'm going to be so embarrassed. <laughs> Whoa, it's got a Dura leak in there, but it hasn't leaked. Oh, <laughs> March 2013. Oops. Um, so, uh, oh yeah, hang on. There you go. There's a bit of bit of corrosion in there. So I'll clean that up. So let's clean that up. I've got the vinegar. So neutralize that. Finish with that off with some isopropyl. Shouldn't do that on my good mat here, really. I, yeah, nah. <laughs> I should do that over on the dirty bench. The dirty bench? Ooh, that's what she said. So again, let's tighten up the jacks. Those ones were pretty tight. Jeez. Oh, there was something rattling around in here, and it was that plastic clip. Oh, okay. yeah, where does that come from? I don't see it on the bottom of the case. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, it's broken off from the top. They've got those two clips on the top there. So that one's broken off. Oopsie. All right, we've got a freshie. Uh, I reckon these are all going to be good. I, like, I... I don't know why. Oh, boy. All right, let's try it. Milliamps, 99.93. So that's good. 10 milliamps, 9.97, 9.98. And one milliamp, go over to a thousand microamps there. That's good. Sorry if you weren't seeing that, but uh, yeah, that's all good. So current is fine. The amps jack, here you go. No worries. It's not terribly accurate down at uh, the bottom end of that. One volt. Bit, yeah, 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 it's bang on. Oh, I'm sick of having these around the wrong way. It's bugging me. 9.9999999991 One! It's bang on! 100 millivolt range. Yeah, it, it's going to be bang. Like, seriously? Yep, yep. It's within spec. Well, this is just getting embarrassing. Looks like I've had a whole bunch of <laughs> perfectly good <laughs> three. Well, I, yeah, three. Because I've got one for sale at the moment on my eBay store. And that one, and this one, they'll go for sale as well. So yeah, I'll start the auction at 99 cents. Um, this one's a bit, a bit how you're doing on the bottom. As I said, it's it's had something spill on there, but I'm not sure if that, is that gonna come off? 
Yeah, don't know. I don't know. It just seems like there's something on there, but I don't know. Don't know what exactly. But anyway, like these are all the range switches feel absolutely. This is really good feeling range switch, by the way, on these bad boys. So um, and they're really good. The LCD, everything's fine. And it spot tests on all the, you know, current, you know, if it spot tests on those, like there could be a fold on AC volts or there could be a fold on cap or something. But like 99.9% .9 sure this bad boy is fully operational. You see, these have had like, a red failed tag on them and somebody's you know, gone to the effort to cable tie it and originally had a tag on there that would have had info or something I can't remember, you'd have to watch my original video maybe I pulled it off, this one last calibrated 2008 so this one's older than those, yeah look at that, 2008 and again this seems to be like is that like, it, it's discoloured in some way like, I, I don't know, so not sure what kind of life this thing's had. By the way, um, oh, oh, that one's missing a screw. Okay, there you go. One screw missing. Don't have a replacement. I couldn't be bothered looking through my tin collection. Oh, oh, okay. This one's... Oh, and again, is that like... Oh, look at that. What's that powder? Oh, okay. That needs a good clean. Um... This battery holder has seen better days. Look at that. It's pretty how you doing. Anyway, like there's there's no leakage in any... Oh, there you go. And yeah, part of the battery clip is uh, off there. So it could do with a replacement battery snap. Does that still... Yeah. No, anyway, we should be able to at least... Nah. Nah, we have got... Got a genuine faulty one by the looks of it. Yeah, there you go. Got a genuine dead ski one. But um, <laughs> all that stuff in the bottom of the case doesn't instill me with a lot of confidence. Oh, duh. Well, there's your problem. Yeah, no, we definitely need a new battery snap. Don't know if I have any spare battery snaps. Might have to find someone one somewhere. But anyway, that's the, uh, <laughs> that's the strain relief for it. So... Yeah, that's just, uh, yeah, the design on these is not great. Oh, that's, that's my finger. Or is that, still got some of that white stuff in there. It's not, it's like, it's like caked on there. It's really weird. It's not like the magic smoke has escaped from anything and has coated all the inside. You know, if anything blows up, it's going to be around the input stuff. I'm not seeing it. There's no burnt tracks. There's no sign of any overload to speak of, really. Let's see if we can get a new battery snap. I'll get back to you. Well, I don't have any battery snaps to hand, but we can actually make one. Take a dead 9 volt battery, and hopefully, if we open this bad boy up, uh, we should be able to... Often you can get the connector out of the top, and bingo, you got yourself a battery snap. So, I'll just... G see that? Maybe... We can get that off. Some of them are like integrated, but some are actually separate and you can actually solder onto the back. They'll have the uh, like little metal tabs coming out and you can solder them onto your wires and use them as battery snaps. Here we go. We got that open. Now, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. There you go. No worries whatsoever. We can reuse. Don't throw out your dead 9 volt batteries. Well, do if they leak and you got the crap all over it. But yeah, there you go. We can just uh, reuse this. Whoop! Oh, that's gonna. That whole thing's gonna come out as a can. Don't know if I've taken a Vada apart before, but because some of them have six 4A cells, but some of them are uh, prismatic cells, and they can be very different construction. I'm gonna cut that tab. Should be able to solder onto the back of that, of course. It's just paper on the back there. And that is just going to be... Oh, I don't want to use my good good cutters. These are actually reverse flush cutters. And this whole thing looks does look prismatic. That doesn't look like we've got our six double A's in there. It looks like it's got sealed uh, prismatic cells. There you go. Anyway, this is not a teardown of that. I'll get rid of the snippety doodah. We have ourselves... A battery snap. There you go. 
that will work a treat. There we go. And yeah, go ahead, bitch in the comments down below, but that's good enough for Australia. That's going to get us back up and running. There we go. Like a bought one. No, that's... I think that wire is corroded away, unfortunately. This one seemed fine, but no. That one's, that one's corroded right up, right up the clacker. Okay, so let's put a new wire in there. It's a bit thicker than the old one. That's what she said, but it does feed through. And well, there's your strain relief. The uh, insulation's not great on that. It melts. It's not very high quality, but she'll be right. Again, good enough for Australia. After all this, I hope it works. I still haven't even tested <laughs> if it. Uh, oh, it's like sewing. Um, <laughs> haven't even tested if this is uh, if this is going to work. So. Is that a suitable length there? Yeah, I'll just cut it there. Will it actually work? Well, we'll find out. Based on our previous ones, though, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. Confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. Okay, I'm gonna... It's easier to solder on... Oh, to the... Ta oh, that's come out. Oh. Oh, oops. Oops, a bit too much heat there. No, is it is it sealed back in? <laughs> Oops. Um eh, eh, it'll get us up and running. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. She's working. Okay, let me put it back together. After I clean out that case, because that case is horrible. Ugh. Ugh. Oops, my hard drive just filled up on my ATM R switcher. Didn't I should delete stuff. Um, it's a one terabyte drive. <laughs> I haven't deleted stuff in a while. Um, anyway, I'll read and do what I just said uh, there. That uh, you can see the uh, exposed contacts in there, and but that's not an electrical hazard. It's not a problem um, because like there's nothing. There's no other contacts near it. It's just a. It's just a looks thing, really. So it's not really a problem. If you, if you've got the meter open, you're, oh, it's a safety hazard. If you've got the meter open, <laughs> well, there's your safety hazard. Unfortunately, we are missing the one screw there. All right, let's go to the videotape. 100.003 millivolts. 0.999956. Yep, no worries. 10 volts, no worries. Um, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, not a problem. 1,000 microamps. So all the fuses are intact in these meters. <laughs> The fuses are worth a four, small fortune. Um, one one milliamp there, so we can go up a range. Ten milliamps, yep. Yep, it's all good. Hundred milliamps, go to the amps range. There you go. That's, you know, it's right down the bottom end of the range. You don't expect it to be hugely, expect it to be a couple of digits out. Um, and Omsky, there you go, 10K. No worries, a couple of digits higher there, but uh, no, it's all good. <laughs> ah, it's pretty embarrassing, isn't it? Um, all these meters, they're all good. So, yeah, once again, I will um, do a few more tests on it, take some photos, and I'll list these on eBay, starting from 99 cents a pop. So I'll link it in down below. I think the other one's just finishing in a couple of hours. So, yeah, I put up, th there you go, three more meters. Um, but this one's missing a screw, and uh, <laughs> that's what she said. And it's got a, um, a slightly dodgy battery connector. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, it's fine. No worries whatsoever. Unbelievable. There you go. Uh, they've been sitting in the box for decades. <laughs> and they, 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 they all work fine. Like, you know, first one had the intermittent uh, contacts on the jacks and stuff. And yeah, uh, they all work great. I guess it's a testament to the actual design of these Tektronix DMMs. Um, so this one's not the uh, Air Force, but I assume it, uh, the Department of Defense, there, there you go. So yeah, it was the ex-Defense uh, Force. And yeah, all of these, I've, we're four for four out of the junked ones. <laughs> four from four from the junk ones, unbelievable. So, so much for repair video, sorry, but them's the brakes. <laughs> Worst we got on there was a battery terminal. Unbelievable. Anyway. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Catch you next time.